Welcome to the Claremont Lincoln 2020 virtual celebration for our graduates. And now, please welcome the hosts for the festivities, your deans, Dr. Joanna Bauer and Claire. 
Hello and welcome to Claremont Lincoln University's 2020 celebration of our graduates. I'm Joanna Bauer and I'm joined by Claire Baca. We're very excited to be here with you today. We have a great show for you. Claire, how about tell us what everyone can look forward to in the next hour? I would be happy to. Once again, welcome everybody. We're so happy to have you all here today to celebrate our graduates and to allow the important people in your lives to celebrate you. We have a full show today. We wish we could be together in person, but since we can't, we're sending you our well wishes from across the CLU community and highlighting our graduates and their amazing capstone work. Yes, but just a few announcements and reminders. Of course, as you've already been doing, you can actively participate by posting comments and best wishes in your chat, either on YouTube or on Facebook, wherever you happen to be watching. And even more fun, we have CLU swag for you, such as t-shirts, blankets, water bottles, and much more. So our website uh, should be scrolling on the bottom of your screen. And there it is all of our CLU shop for you. Lots of different things for you to choose from. So if you want to order, go to our website for more information or send an email to shop at claremontlincoln.edu. And don't forget, these are great gifts to get for your graduates as well. So we also wanna see our graduates when we celebrate you. So if you haven't already, join the Zoom meeting with the second device so something other than what you're using to watch on now. And you'll use the information emailed from Katie Goolsby this morning, and there'll be full instructions in there. So if you haven't checked your email, be sure to do that. Make sure you mute your Zoom and then stand by for your cue to start the celebration. We'll see you all again live in about 30 minutes. Yes, yeah, so we wanna see you all. So make sure that you're back on your Zoom in about 30 minutes and we'll, and Claire and I will be back with you as well live so sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and we're going to cheer on all of our graduates. Congratulations, 2020 Claremont Lincoln University graduates. We're so excited for you. <laughs> Greetings, CLU graduates, and welcome to your 2020 celebration. I'm thrilled to be here with you virtually, if not in person. We all know that these are extraordinary times, and yet I'm not sure there's a better time to graduate from Claremont Lincoln University. If you think for a moment about the mission and vision of our university, standing for ethical leadership, compassionate leadership, mindful leadership, standing for social justice and equity for all, truly important principles for our society today. I think of each of you, now forever members of the CLU community, and I feel encouraged. Out of these times will come a new generation of leaders who are not afraid to bring new solutions to the fore, and you are those leaders. Wherever you are in the world, with all of the challenges you face, whether you work in the corporate world or in nonprofit, in your family or your community, you are here now at this moment because this is what you are meant to do. And guess what? We at CLU are here to support you far beyond your degree. You will always be a vital part of our community and we can't wait to continue this journey with you. As your president, I give you my most heartfelt congratulations. And now a message from your Dean, Joanna Bauer. Hello, CLU graduates. Today we celebrate you and your amazing accomplishment of earning your degree. 
In the words of two female leaders I admire, both former first ladies, Eleanor Roosevelt said, a good leader inspires people to have confidence in the leader. A great leader inspires people to have confidence in themselves. Building on this thought of leadership, Michelle Obama said, the only limit to the height of your achievement is the reach of your dreams and the willingness to work hard for them. We see this personified in your capstone projects. In reading your projects, the variety of context, industries, and issues that are being addressed is vast. Our graduates are focusing on vital and ongoing needs for social change. It's inspiring to see your dreams come to fruition with community engagement, social activism, ethical leadership, and integrating the Claremont Core principles in your current and future endeavors. Your commitment to being the leaders that we need now, embodying the golden rule and focusing on diversity, equity, and inclusion creates the foundation needed to bring about positive social change. All of us at CLU are pleased to see you accomplishing great things now and the promise of what you can achieve in the future. Congratulations and best wishes for your next adventure. And now a message from our very own director of the Claremont Corps and teaching and learning specialist, Stephanie Varnon Hughes. Congratulations, graduates. You have always been the core of all we do. And I am so, so excited for you. Here is a definition of positive social change, where the world's deepest need meets your gifts and abilities. And in your time with us, you've grappled with so many big questions, shared so many perspectives, and really dug into the work of facilitating dialogue and bringing about true change. You are gifted, prepared, and ready. I can't wait to see where your journey takes you next. Stay connected, know how much we love you, and soak in the joy. Our whole community is thrilled you've reached this milestone. And we've also created something to let you know how much we appreciate your time, hearts, energy, and work. No, you are seen and celebrated from all of us at CLU. And now a message from our Vice President of Academic Affairs, Lynn Pretty. Congratulations, graduates. I have just a short message for you. As alumni of Claremont Lincoln University, you are a leader and not just any type of leader, a mindful leader set to change the world. As you go forth, please remember that at CLU, you have never been just a student. You've been much more than that, much more than even part of our work life. You are our life's work. What we most hope today is that what you began at CLU launches your life's work. Congratulations again. Go change the world. It needs you. Big congratulations, graduates. I am, we are so very proud of you. I want to take just a few minutes to share three insights that have been important to me in my leadership journey and I'm gonna do so in a kind of personal way. This weekend, something wonderful happened for me. The release of Hamilton. I was finally able to see it. I couldn't get tickets to see the play when it was here like so many. Although I did listen to the soundtrack at least a million times, a million. My words to you today come from a couple of songs from this masterpiece. The first one, The Room Where It Happens. I wanna be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happens. This song is about wanting to step into your leadership and be in the rooms where important decisions get made, being a decision maker. And we know Hamilton truly stepped up and as unlikely as it might've seen given his roots, he was one of our most influential founding fathers. I'm reminded of a quote by Randall Robinson that has guided my life, and I'm paraphrasing. First, you gotta get in the room, and then once you're there, 
You must remember why you're there. Indeed, as hard as it might be to get in that room when, according to dominant culture, you're not even supposed to be near that room, leaders make it their business to be there, to represent. And ethical change agents remember their purpose and work to ensure that decisions may promote equity, liberty, and justice for all. I want to add one more Hamilton song reference. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Living a life of purpose and meaning so that your life is a story of change making worth telling. Yes, this is part of the message. And importantly, who tells your story? I'm reminded of another quote, an African proverb I always live by. Until the lion learns to write, all stories will glorify the hunter. So what am I saying? My message to you today is about using your voice, telling your truth, your story, especially when it counts, and recognizing your truth reflects your purpose, your particular contribution for making our community a better place for all, in rooms big and small. Enjoy this big accomplishment, a major milestone and credential. Use it well, represent, and use your voice and power 24 seven to set the narrative that promotes the common good. Take care of yourself and your families and thank you for listening. And take these words from our faculty with you too. We are all, all so proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud to be at CLU where we have long been committed to the amazing things that can happen when we work together to create social betterment. I love that we're collectively determined to learn and to educate champions and leaders of change and equity in our community and the world. The time I get to spend with you, our incredible students, is not just professionally fulfilling, it is life affirming. In the face of the crises that we've all endured in 2020, it's clear that there has never been a more critical need for people like you to lead us through the new, the long-standing, and the unforeseen challenges we are sure to encounter. I'm proud of each of you, and CLU is proud of each of you. You are the leaders who take the core values of mindfulness, dialogue, collaboration, and change, and create sustainable, positive social change. Today, we celebrate you, our newest group of graduates and change makers. Class of 2020, you inspire us with your courage, your innovation, and your commitment to changing the world one community at a time. Let's take this moment to recognize each of you and your incredible work with CLU and beyond. Try and fly, but I only ever get so high. I will never give up my fight. Even if it burns all night I can feel the fire That is inside my bones There's a deep desire in my soul We can live I 
Claremont Lincoln University's David and Joan Lincoln Student Changemaker Award is presented to one graduate each year. This award acknowledges a student who's not only shown academic excellence, but who's been recognized by faculty and their peers as an exemplary model of the golden rule at work. Before I introduce this year's Student Changemaker recipient, let me share a few things that her teachers and classmates had to say about her. She has the positive attitude and tenacity that gets things done. She is the essence of the CLU core. She's a community activist, servant leader, compassionate follower, resilient, kind, and motivating leader. She is a true change maker. She works hard and always goes above and beyond. Our award recipient completed her MA in organizational leadership with a concentration in higher education in February, 2020. Her capstone work focused on helping individuals on the front line of the hospitality industry ascend to higher paying and management positions through access to higher education. The reason why I have gathered a bunch of your CLU family here is because um, every year, one of our graduates receives the David and Joan Lincoln Student Changemaker Award. And this award is given to a student who not only has shown academic excellence, but who has been nominated by their fellow classmates oh and their faculty for showing um, commitment to the concepts of the core, for showing a dedication to being an agent of positive change in their community and to making a difference. And this year, you are the 2020 David and Joe oh. Lincoln Student Changemaker for CLU. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. I'm crying. I'm gonna cry. Oh my God. I wasn't no, expecting. I actually I don't know have your award here. So Look at that. And it has your name on it. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I just want to tell them all thank you. I felt so connected to so many people on the other side of the country. It's amazing. And my my classmates, I am still hoping we can at least see each other face to face. So it's really cool to do this. Yeah, I just wanted to say, Jenny, when we were reading the nominations and what your peers said about you, it was completely inspiring and amazing so what you're doing for people around you might not even realize how much you're doing for your classmates and for us and for um, just the people that you come in contact with because we could read even just from the comments we could we felt how much you appreciate and how much they appreciate you so i just want you to know it was extraordinarily inspiring and just keep doing what you're doing De Deneva, this is uh, Tony DiGiovanni, and I just want to say, you know, what an inspiration you are. Uh, not only as a model for our students, but I think about your generations, your children, your, what is it, six children and 12 grandchildren? So there are 13 grands and two great grands, and I'm 66, but I feel 35. I love that. And what a model you are. To, to those other generations. And I, you know, that is so, you know, that's inspiring to all of us. So you really, uh, you don't know how much impact you do have. And this is, this is a wonderful moment. So Neva, I just wanted to just say congratulations like everyone else here. Uh, I actually was on the institutional review board when you submitted the application for uh, your capstone and just for the review process. And I remember looking through that and just the framework you intended to use and your research. So I was so moved and, you know, just again, as everyone has said, completely inspired and really connecting, knowing where you are, the students that you were gonna be serving, that population, completely familiar with that area. Mm -hmm. And so um, I am thrilled that you are receiving this award and it's, it's well-deserved. So congratulations. Thank you guys so much. I cannot begin to tell you thank you big enough because it's not about me at all. It's about all of my classmates that I got so connected to, all of my instructors, and I couldn't have done it without all of you guys. And really believe in my heart, this is the best program anybody who's pursuing online masters. I just like the way it's put together. Someone had a vision that was so powerful 
to tie mindfulness in as a core and just build on it. That I keep that's genius. You're not just changing one person, you're changing the whole world one capstone at a time. But thank you all so much. I'm still tearing. Welcome back, everybody. We're here with you live again. Wasn't it inspiring and amazing to see our graduates and read their capstone titles and see the incredible work they're doing in their communities? It's so amazing. And as you all said in the chat, each and every one of our graduates is doing amazing things in their communities, whatever community that is, whether it's their family or local or or moving into global arenas. So I'm inspired. I'm inspired every time I read any of the of the capstones. But now here's the part of the show we get to see and acknowledge our graduates live. So graduates, please make sure you're in the Zoom meeting now and with your video turned on. We'll give you a couple minutes to get in there, but a lot of you are already in there. Feel free to unmute yourselves and we'll look forward to seeing you in the Zoom meeting. There you are. There you are. Hello. Oh my God, look at you Kenya. Hello, my family. Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. Felicia. Yeah. Owners, laughters, late. Everyone,
<laughs> they just can't stop celebrating. <laughs> Hello, Evan. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Let's mute yourselves, and we're going to get this show on the road. And we have a few things left um, before our celebration is over today. We want to congratulate you again. We're so, so proud of you. And we were so happy to be with all of you today. But don't log off just yet. We've got a little bit more for you. So stay tuned for a few more minutes after we sign up of our live section. And then um, this whole video afterwards will be available for you on Facebook and YouTube. So you can watch it again, share it with friends and family who couldn't be here. Yes, and a great big thank you for everyone at CLU who worked hard to make this event happen. It was a truly collaborative process, which is how we do it here at CLU. And we all cherish our students. Each and every one of us cherishes each and every one of you and celebrates you. We hope that we'll be able to see you all in person next year sometime. But until then, stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy your families, and a big welcome to you as official CLU alumni. Thanks everyone for joining us today. Remember to stay tuned for a few more minutes. Hey everyone, Dr. Joe Delucia here, executive president and chief operating officer with Claremont Lincoln University, coming to you from Denver, Colorado. I just wanna say congratulations to all the 2020 graduates. You've earned this degree and there's never been a more important time for you to take the skills that you've learned and go out there and make change happen. We're very proud of you. And I always say every year to our graduates, you are our social change. Congratulations.